Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a combination Maybelline haul. I bought four new products from Maybelline and I thought I would do a get ready with me video and incorporate using them and maybe like a first impressions thing all combined. So let's get started. All right, first I always start with EOS lip balm. And then I take Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Spot Corrector and just put that on any dark spots that I have. If, I, if it looks like I'm missing spots, it's because I'm not turning on the light on my makeup mirror because it interferes with the lighting for the video. So I can't really see as well as I need to. So I just kind of dab this on any dark spots and it helps fade them. Okay, that's good now. Next, I'm going to take NYX Dark Circle Concealer and this is in the shade Fair. And I'm going to use an e.l.f. Studio Concealer Brush to apply that. Oh, and by the way, when I get to what the four new products are, you know, obviously, I'm going to point those out to you. Oh, don't ever buy a makeup mirror that has a light that comes on when you touch the base because it comes on a lot when you don't want it to. <laughs> All right, uh, next I'm going to apply foundation and I'm going to use the LA Colors Liquid Makeup in the shade Pure Beige. Just featured this in a video recently. And I'm going to use the Studio Basics. Gosh, I hope that's the name of it because it's not written on the um, brush and I threw away the packaging that goes on the inside, but I'm pretty sure this is called Studio Basics Foundation Brush. Got that at Ulta, and I featured that in a video recently. I'm trying to blend this really well down my neck because yesterday I noticed that, um, well yesterday I used a different powder than what I normally would to set my foundation and it was kind of dark. And uh, I, I had like, you know, my face was one color and my neck was a different color. So I want to make sure I blend this really well today. I'm not going to use the same powder though. The powder that I'm going to use is a new one that I just picked up. Yeah, certain areas I've noticed don't blend out as well as others, so I like to pay extra attention to them. Alright, that's good for the foundation. Um, 
I was using three pumps of that and now I find that I really only need two. Three is almost like too much. Next I'm going to use another concealer, the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer in the shade Light. I like to use one under my foundation and one over and it still doesn't <laughs> completely cover. I'm just going to use that same concealer brush though that I used for the other one. Alright, now we're going to get to one of the new products. It occurred to me the other day when I saw my Milani Multitasker Powder getting really showing, hitting pan and more and more pan was showing and I was thinking, what am I going to use for a powder when that's gone because they don't make the shade light anymore in that. So I started looking through the powders that I already had and I came across the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I like that powder a lot, but Right now it's the end of summer so I'm a little darker than I normally would be the rest of the year so the shade that matches me the rest of the year would be too light right now. So I looked at the other ones that I had because when I first bought that powder I had a heck of a time trying to figure out what would be the best shade and so I used one of the other powders yesterday and it was too dark and then the one like I said that I normally use is too light right now and then the other one just isn't a good match anytime. So uh, Maybelline yesterday when I was at Ulta was buy one get one half off. So I bought four Maybelline products, got half off two of them, plus used my 350 off 10 coupon and basically got four Maybelline products for a steal. So that's why I bought so many Maybelline products. I figured that was a good time to do it. So long story short, I bought another shade of the Maybelline Dream powder because I really do like it. This is shade number 15 Ivory. So I'm going to use this today for the very first time. I mean I've used this product before obviously I have three other shades but I'm going to use this shade for the first time and hopefully this will be a good match. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Studio powder brush. I like this powder is really um, smooth and it gives you some coverage. It's not a foundation, but you could almost use it like one, but I wouldn't just because um, I have dry skin, so I wouldn't want to put a powder directly on my skin without having something else under it. I mean, when I get out of the shower, I moisturize my face, obviously. So I've got moisturizer and liquid foundation. So let's see, let's see how this is for a shade match. But see how it goes on your brush? It's almost like a powder foundation. All right. I think this is going to work color wise. It's kind of yellow, but um, I think it's going to work anyway. Sometimes I don't mind when a foundation or a powder is a little yellow because it sort of minimizes the pink in my skin or it covers the pink a little bit. I found that with um, NARS foundations as well are very yellow but sometimes that's good. For somebody who has a redness issue, if you don't want to use a uh, redness control type primer or something like that, you can sort of counteract that with a yellow based foundation and powder. Alright, so this seems to be pretty good, especially with that pure beige shade of foundation. So I feel like I've got a balance now of the pink and red. I don't know if, how well you'll be able to see that, but 
it sort of balances it all out. Great. Okay, and I'm going to use another Maybelline product for my blush. And this is the shade, um, well, first of all, it's the Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio Highlighting Blush. So when I use these, I don't use a contour or a highlight because it's kind of like a blush highlight contour all in one. This is in the shade Nude. And it looks like that. So it's got a little bit of uh, peach and pink and nude and everything all mixed in. For a brush, I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush. This is number 56. Had been using this for foundation, but now it's my blush brush and really it works great for that. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in there and try to pick up a little bit of all of those shades. And then just swirl that on. I was doing like a stippling blending motion but for this particular blush I'm just doing the swirling blending buffing motion and this is just going to give you a really gorgeous natural um, flush of color and it's very very subtle I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not but in person it's it's really a nice summertime blush and I hadn't used it in a while so I wanted to use that today. Okay, next I'm going to use Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer. I have used this every single day since I bought it. Um, it's pretty amazing, especially for the price. So I just put a little bit of that on and then blend it with my finger to really work that in well and get it in exactly the entire eye area. Sometimes I use my fingers for blending because it works better than a brush sometimes. Yeah, this is pretty amazing eyeshadow primer. I think I did a video specifically about this one day. Matter of fact, I know I did. Okay, so the second new Maybelline product that we're going to use is the Blushed Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I already had the original one that's just called the Nudes, and I think it's really, really good. So I figured I would pick up the Blushed Nudes one, and I had read some mixed reviews on this, so I was a little hesitant to get it when it first came out, but then I decided I was going to get it, and then because I waited a little too long, I couldn't find it. Everywhere I went, it was sold out. So now some time has gone by, so I was able to get it easily. Um, these are the shades that it comes with. It's a really, really nice selection of colors. And... I haven't I haven't planned out what I was going to use so I'm just gonna just gonna go for it well I'm gonna start with this shade right here as my highlight shade is a pretty obviously a highlight shade and I am gonna use my finger and I'm just gonna put that right underneath the brow bone arch So far, so good. So I'm not gonna like swatch and use this entire palette. I'm just gonna use um, three, possibly four shades today. Okay, next for an eyeshadow base, I'm gonna go with that shade right underneath the highlight shade and use that as my lid shade. I should say. Oh, that's that's pretty. It's like a golden sand color. It's kind of a uh, frosty beige type shade. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that.
Yeah, a lot of times I like using my my finger as a makeup brush. I wouldn't attempt that though for doing crease work. <laughs> that wouldn't work out too well. But for highlight and lid shade, yeah, sometimes that's the best way to go. All right, so for crease, for my crease eyeshadow, I'm gonna use uh, Zoeva Crease Brush. And let's see, what are we gonna use for the crease shade? Hmm. I'm looking at these and I'm thinking, I wonder, I wonder if that one would be dark enough to use in the crease. It looks very complimentary to the one that I used in my lid. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully that will be dark enough. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a lot on the brush just in case that shade isn't dark enough. Because that color, I think, would look so good with that lid shade. All right, let's 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 go for it. I'm going to start on the outside of my crease here. Oh, that's, that's a nice combination. I like it. It's very subtle, but I like it. Maybe I'll add a, a fourth shade to just the outer corner then, because it is pretty subtle. But I really like the way those three colors go together. I think they really complement each other. Okay, yeah, let's put a little bit of another color right in the outer corner. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this one here, just in the outer corner. Maybe just a, a little bit on the outside part of that lid. Okay, I like it. This seems to be a pretty subtle palette, not like super pigmented, but that just makes it easier to blend them, I think. Sometimes when you have really pigmented shadows, it makes it more difficult to work with them. Okay, so the third new Maybelline product that I'm going to try out today is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Sleek Onyx. Now you guys know how much I love the Maybelline Master Kajal Cream Coal Eyeliners, but this is a fairly new eyeliner by Maybelline and I really wanted to try it. So this doesn't have any shimmer or sparkles or glitter or anything in it. So I'm going to do my tight line with this and we'll see how it goes. Whenever I've tried these types of pencils in the past, they would migrate and move. So um, hopefully that's not going to happen and what I'll have to do is, because I'm just doing this now like as a first impressions, I'll have to get back to you to let you know if it moved later on in the day. But I'm going to put that on my tight line. Okay, it's super pigmented.
and it's showing up really well, I feel. So that gives you a nice bold black matte line. Another problem I sometimes run into with these is they'll irritate my eyes, this type of eyeliner. So hopefully that won't happen here. I, I'm tearing up a little bit. So these, these kind of formulas can, you know, be a little bit more sensitive on your eyes. Okay, I, l I really like though the way that looks. It's much more um, obvious and bold than the Master Kajal one. Okay, now um, I've been doing sh a little bit of shadow on the bottom lately, or I do that a lot I guess. So let's see, I think what I'm going to do is take, let's, um, let's use the boldest color that I used in the eyeshadow look, which was this one here. Let's use that with a uh, Zoeva pencil brush. I'm going to use a little bit of that on the lower lash line. And I go down to about the midway point. Okay. Next, I'm going to use uh, Maybelline Colossal Chaotic Mascara. Okay, what I'm going to do in order to try to save a little bit of time is I'm going to shut the camera off right now. I'm going to do the mascara on the other eye and do my eyebrows off camera just to try to shorten the length of this video. And I'll be back to do the lip products in a second. Okay, so got the other eye done for mascara and drew my brows, filled my brows in. Now the fourth product that I bought by Maybelline was the Maybelline Color Sensational Rebel Bloom Lipstick in Barely Bloom. This is number 700 and this is a peach. It's a light peach. Now I looked at my lip liners and the only thing I had that was even close, which I don't know how I feel about this, but this is ColourPop Cake. So I'm going to try this, but I didn't really have, I don't have a lot, a whole lot of peach lip liners, so just going to outline my lips with this. This was my best option, so hopefully it'll be okay. And here we go. I don't I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm gonna try it. Wow, this is really, really light, you guys.
Hmm. I, I'm not I'm not wild about this color. Let me show you what it looks like swatched on my hand. Look how light that is. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. But of course, swatching it on your hand, that shows you the color. But then you put it on over your lips and it just barely covers any of my lip color. But um, yeah, so I would say that Mm, it, it's different though. It's a different kind of look. So, you know, sometimes you get bored using the same types of colors all the time. So, I guess it's okay. I really like this eyeshadow palette though, and the way that look turned out. The eyeliner is really um, nice and bold and pigmented and goes on very smoothly. Was a little irritating, but not too, too bad. And then what was the fourth thing? The powder. I think the powder works really well, especially with the shade of foundation that I used with it. So I think I'll be able to use um, this shade of powder in the this time of year. And then when I lose the little bit of color that I have in the fall, I'll have to switch back to the lighter shade if I decide to stick with the Dream Wonder powder. I do really like the formula. It's pretty heavy, gives you some additional coverage, and uh, gives you more of a flawless finish than a lighter powder would. So kind of a matter of personal preference there. But I'll probably go back and use up the Milani one if I transition into the Maybelline ones. All right, so that's my Get Ready With Me video and my Maybelline haul, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.